So, we've just arrived to Kessel Schoenberg, which is probably gonna be the, one of the last, if not the last, Dragon Quest that we do. So... But we're going back to the States. Yeah, we're going back to the States. Um, so what we'd like you to do is go ahead and uh, click the subscribe button, okay? Like our video, leave some comments and let us know what you think. And to be so specific, you gotta subscribe to, like, to this channel right here. Yeah, the Dragon Quest channel. What's that? We found a clue already? What'd you get? Oh, what is it? It's writing all over, huh? It's not just here too, it's like all over there. Oh yeah. Do we find anything interesting? Like, what does it say? What's this one say? Looks like that stone was put there in 1988. Here's a brief history of the castle in French and in Deutsch. 397 meters above sea level. We're going to talk about Castle Schoenberg. This castle was built in the 10th century. Yeah, built by the Duke of Zadigen and first written about in 1120. The Palatinate Gottfried of Kahl, who was the Count of Kahl, came into possession of this castle through marriage to the Count of Eberstein's daughter. Upon his death, he bequeathed the castle to his great-granddaughter at the tender age of three. After Uta's death, the castle passed to her brother Eberhard II, who was the Count of Eberstein, and it remained in their possession for over 50 years. So our research has brought us here for several reasons. First, we believe that this is one of the very few castles visited by the Black Mountain on more than one occasion. First, in 1262 with Ulrich I, and again in the early 14th century with Eberhard on his back. And second, we think this is one of the very, very, very few times that the Black Mountain was supported by another dragon. Eberhard's half-son, Ulrich of Hofingen, riding upon Uthramiel the Iron Belly flew south to retake this castle with the Black Mountain and Eberhard and depose the potentate that was installed by Rudolf of Habsburg. Shortly after retaking the castle, the Württembergs installed loyalists to serve as bailiffs and Castilians of the castle. Now we're going to take a look around and see what clues we can find to validate our thoughts and our beliefs that the Iron Belly and the Black Mountain were here. What did you find? What'd you find? Oh! That's block of death. Wow. It's got something written on it. 1891. Reno. I wonder why this area is fenced off. This looks like it was maybe the keep. Maybe the dragon of death. I don't know. See those? Again, you see those Ooh. ridges there? I think there were stairs right there. Maybe. There's stairs right there to the next floor. It's possible. Looks like this was the keep. Cause look, see, see those ridges right there? They come across, they pop out. Those were the floors. Yeah. Yeah. And then see, there's windows there, and there's a big pane window. Looks like there's like a big cannonball. Yeah. I wonder why they have this all barred off. But it looks like you found the keep, Ireland. Good job. This might have been downstairs in the basement. The dragon, I'm telling you. I don't know. It looks kind of small for a dragon to hang out. Let's keep going. Let's keep looking around. Come on. Yeah, I got you. I'm gonna try. It's a little hole. Mm-hmm. 
What is down there? Um, I'll go in here again. Looks like a little... Going backwards. Going backwards. I wonder what that is. Maybe this is like the, the wine cellar or something. The meat cellar. Huh? Yeah, maybe the baby dragons, huh? Down. This looks like a good spot right over there. If you can see right along the edge of the castle wall, there's a nice little groove in there. It almost looks perfect location for a dragon to stare down the middle of the road coming up to the end of the castle. I mean, the first thing you'd see coming up here trying to attack the castle be the head of a dragon right there. Hmm. And now that I'm closer to this here, this almost looks like it'd be a perch. I mean, look at the look at the angle of the approach. Coming up the road, something could perch right here and prove guard. And then if it had to, it could duck up into the foothills here of this of this hill, this valley climb up in there and hide. This kind of moat goes all the way around now that I see. Look at that. Is it safe? There's a door in the area. Wow. Got it? Go, buddy. I got it. He got it. He made it. There's a door over here if you want to grab my bag and come. What was down here? What was down here? Yeah. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you. Help me out. I could come down easily. There's some rocks. I wonder what was down here. This looks like maybe it was a temple. You okay? Whoa. What? Yeah. I bet you did. Look at that old door, isn't that cool? Yeah. You okay? A little bit of motion is the best medicine. Don't do that, that's bad for it. Come on. Here. What do you got here, guys? You found something? What, what'd you find? A statue. Whoa. Oh, yeah, look at that. He's got a fish and a book. I bet you that's supposed to be the Bible. Look up here. What you got up here? Up here. Look. Look! Oh yeah! I can get up there. No, I don't think we're gonna think we're gonna pass. Aww. It's way up here though, huh? I can get up there. Excuse me. Alright, let's keep looking. More clues. Schallenberg Castle was attacked in 1262 by Ulrich I as he was making his way west to fight the Bishop of Strasbourg, Walter of Geraldsek. We've talked about that feud and that battle several times. If you remember when we went to Hohenundufingen and when we went to um, Hohenundufen. So, but I'll put a, I'll put an I card up there so you can you can uh, keep it up, keep track of what we're talking about. Kept by the Württembergs until 1273, when Rudolf of Habsburg became king and declared that all of the land go back to the crown. So all of the land that the Württembergs have claimed during the interregnum went back to the king and back to the empire. He's doing? Racing. Okay. He's gonna get up here. Three, two, one. Made it. Hey, look how pretty cheated. <laughs> I, I couldn't read. Made Try it again. As Eberhard I took the reins as the Count of Württemberg, he saw that the Habsburg holding this castle was a huge slap in the face. And he decided he was gonna do something about it.
take a good look at this tower here. From this angle, it looks like something came in and just whoosh, took it right off. And it just whoosh, chopped it right off. See how that one's more squared off the top? Come back over here and it's just chomped right off.